Hello all, I got some phase three from Lake Zurich, Illinois, a place where I used to fish in random ponds as a child. But this is their collaboration DDH all pixel everything with other half. And I've had several phase three beers and they tend to be a little bit sweet for me, but apparently they said that uh, this, this beer is a little bit drier than their, their normal style um, or other half style, obviously. So it's double dry hop, double IPA with Citra, Motueka, and Nelson Sylvain. It's 8%, I believe. And it's funny, so many of their beers use lactose, but they right on there, dairy free. And this is canned. Oh, there's, this can does not have a date, but it was only like two weeks ago. So I'm expecting to like this. I'm a pretty big other half fan. But we'll see if it maybe is a little too yeasty or sweet. That's what I found with a lot of phase three IPAs. Haven't really had their stouts or many of their other beers. Looks beautiful though. The phase three beers usually have like a really nice haze and the head looks really good too. Some big bubbles, some soapy bubbles. Oh, it still smells like their yeast. Actually phase three maybe sort of reminds me of uh, uh, vitamin C on the South shore of Boston. <clears throat> Those Their beers tend to be uh, sweet and very yeast forward. Yeah, they have a very similar yeast profile. It just smells like juicy fruit, cotton candy, bubble gum, cake, all that sort of stuff, coconut cake. All, all these sweet pastries and candies, which I like there to be some actual fruit and green hop character in my beers. Um, God, it just smells like juicy fruit gum. Wow. I'm not getting much other half character at all. We'll see. A lot of times, though, the beers morph. They smell like really sweet and candy-like, and the but then the flavor changes. Hopefully this one gets drier. Like they said, it's supposed to be drier than a normal thing. But wow, it's just like all their beers kind of smell the same. Oh yeah, there's a little bit more bite to that, but it still just tastes like bubble gum. Wow. But a really beautiful appearance. I've got a weird setup right now here. This is, the camera is mounted on this selfie stick here. But I think I've got okay lighting. You can see that pretty good. It is quite... It's like very opaque, but very pale, but a really nice head. Yeah, I appreciate it being a little bit drier. Still got a big body, but their yeast is still in your face. That's what I don't like about a lot of a lot of Midwestern um, hazy IPA brewers. Just have a really sweet profile, really yeast ester forward. All those candy-like notes. Um, same with like Hop Butcher and then Vitamin C in Weymouth. Um, this is a little better than Vitamin C. I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'll ever buy Vitamin C again, maybe. But this one's a little nicer. Very well made, good feel, good head, good look. No oxidation or any, like it's got a little bit of a, a drying texture on the tongue but no hot burn, <clears throat> at least not yet. But just the yeast esters are explosive, but I think that's what people like. But and that's not what all the New England IPA brewers in New England and the Northeast do. And if they do have it, it's unique. Like Treehouse is a really unique quality to their, to their yeast profile. I've never had anywhere else. Same with Equilibrium to a certain extent. Um, but then a lot of places are kind of cleaner, I would say. But this, yeah, it's just, their yeast just really makes it smell like banana, bubble gum, juicy fruit gum, and kind of toasted coconut or something, which is weird. So usually a coconut, it's not really like coconut. You'd think that, yeah, the Motueka and the Nelson would cut through this. But Citra, it seems like Citra combined with these 
yeast ester forward beers this really makes for a candy like experience which is what a lot of people want but that's what i was obsessed with five years ago and it's so new and amazing to me but now i want something that's a little more complex and a little drier but it's a really well-made beer if they would just dial back the yeast esters which that's their thing so they're not going to <laughs> um i would like this more but it does have a little bit more dryness it's still like not bitter at all just maybe a little more attenuated than normal for their beers but it's still like i don't think they use any hot side hops on this beer but i'm glad i got a four pack of this because it, it's good it's in a very good shape really well made beer i'll be interested to share this with some of my friends in new england and see what they think if they think it's too sweet Actually, it might be, it's a little bit like River Roost, but River Roost, I guess, their beers are more complex. They capture more qualities of the hops. But maybe as I sit on this, this is really cold. Maybe I'll notice more stuff. Let's get one deep sniff in here, see what happens. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of the Nilsen now. A little bit of what I call smoky jalapeno. Some whiny notes. Well, Twink is usually kind of limey. And now it's getting a little warmer. I'm getting more of those fruity notes. It's pretty damn good. It's maybe a 425 or something like that. But you kind of like, gotta let it breathe. It's probably not great when it's totally warm, but if you search out for the Nelson and Motueka, that's really what makes it good. And yeah, maybe that's what I should do is buy phase three beers that aren't just Citra and Mosaic. All right, this review is too long. Goodbye.